This video is about percentage word problems. You have various percentage word problems and one of the tips I'm going to give you here is to use the, the trick of 10%. Finding 10% of something helps a lot with most percentage word problems, in fact most percentage questions. Let's read the question here. At a particular school, 20% of the children travel by bus. If this is 180 children, how many attend the school? So we have to think 180 children is 20%. It's told us that in the question. It says 20% is 180. And I've told you to use the tip of trying to work out what 10% would be. Because once you know 10%, you can just times it by 10 to get 100%. So if 20% is 180, then half of that is going to be 10%, isn't it? 20% is 180. So 10% would be half of 180, or 90 kids. So we've worked out what 10% was by just halving it, because we knew that 20% was 180. So t if 10% is 90, how many in the whole school? Well, then it's just 10 lots of that, because if this is 10%, we need to know what 100% is, and 10 tens are 100. So we just times it by 10. And by do, to do that, we just move the decimal point one place along. So 90 times 10 is 900. So we did that <coughs> by calculating what 10% was first. Let's look at another one. 70% of the days in June were sunny. How many days were sunny? Well, let's go back using our 10% rule again. Whenever you're given a percentage problem that you can't figure out, try and work out what 10% would be. So, how many days are within June? There's 30 days in June, okay? What's 10% of that? Well, to work out 10%, we just divide it by 10. So that we move the decimal point one place along, and it goes from being 30 to being 3. So 10% is 3. And now we have to do is find out what 70% is. Well, if we know 10% is 3, we just keep adding up 3s until we get to 70%. So 10% is 3, 20% is 6, 30 is 9, 40 is 12, 50 is 15, 60 is 18, 70 is going to be 21 days. And then we did that just by working out what 10% of the days were first, and then just counting up in 3s or counting up in 10%. One more. <coughs> 30% of the number is 90. What is the number? Well, again, if we're going to try and work out 100%, we're going to try and work out what the total number is, we need to go and find ourselves what 10% would be. Well, if 30% of something is 90, then we know that it's three lots of 10%. So we need to divide 90 by three. And if you divide 90 into three, you'll get the answer of 30. So we know that 10% is 30, because if you think about it this way, if 10% is 30, then 20% is going to be 60, and 30% will be 90, 30 and 30 and 30, okay? So we've worked out 10%, and we need to know what 100% is, we just times that by 10. If 30 is 10%, uh, then 300 is going to be the 100%. We just times it by 10, add on a zero, or move the decimal point one place to the right. And that's how to do these percentage word problems. In all of them, try and figure out what 30, what 10% what is first, and go from there. 